Uh, uh, look. Uh, no, I don't believe him. Uh, but know that I've been grieving. Know that I've been holding out, hoping to receive him. I've been holding out for G, but he was nowhere to be seen when I was bleeding. Cousin with the choking and the wheezing. But still he dream of smoking potent in the evening This is only for the heathens Holding to the souls who need redeeming From the demons still ain't folding when it's freezing There ain't no one to believe it I'm on that man's side, damn right Doing it myself from a landslide Stand by, didn't need no help from no damn guy Man by, I've been making waves all my damn life Okay guys, how are you feeling? Pumped, pumped, ready, yeah. Which band is ridiculous, isn't it? I think, you know that thing that they do where they film you each stage through the year, yeah, and uh, after you've had a drink more and more? This is us before we've had a pint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, a big, there's a big queue of people outside. We went out to the, we went out to calm them down, they're going a bit, uh, it, it, you didn't get stage, you went out and there were women screaming and fainting. Yeah, so many fainted, yeah, so, passed out. Feels yeah. a bit weird, doesn't it? Super pumped, let's go, yeah. let's have it. <laughs> Sounds hold nothing but the sound. I'll be running to the ground, no nut, cause the best don't change. Click into that cold one. My mother said there's no love until you show some. So I showed love and got nothing now, there's no one. You wonder why I couldn't keep in tow, son. I wonder why my dad didn't want me. Ex didn't need me. Half of them left and the rest finna breeze me. Gets blessed till I second guess. Rest till it frees me. There's nothing to believe in, believe me. The people looking to learn more about how to sell on Amazon in an honest and transparent way. They will win about two and a half grand worth of evening tech of the year. But yeah, we've got a fair few uh, of you guys and um, we're, we're very, very proud about what we've created. This is always one of the top reasons that stops businesses from growing. And this is exactly what happened to us when we reached around seven figures. Suddenly, I saw an opportunity everywhere. Now we're at around 140k a month with this one product. It's a customer-centric company. They want to make customers happy. We've had two talks. What have we done? Well. It's gone great. Really well. Really the talks well. were so good. Yeah. It's not, Full, full house, isn't it? I'm sure you've seen already. Yeah, We've run out of chairs and there's like another 40 people. Yeah, there, no, so we're gonna yeah. be like, sit on the floor, cross your legs. It's so, if people come up to you and they're like, I can't believe I, I've had that real in the flesh. Like, so weird, you feel like such a dick. It's a bit lady. weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you go, yes, I am real. Yes, I will sign. <laughs> so yes. Yes. Some guy was like, oh, you got back from Argentina? And I was like, oh, leave. Oh, they know more about your life than you do. One guy was just talking to me, saying, oh, you said on an interview and then talking about my products. I said, sorry, when did I say that? He went, about three and a half years ago. YouTube and I was like, I don't remember that. Um, it's, no, man, it's going class now. Nice. How are you finding me on stage, mate? Natural, yeah, you did, were well. you a bit nervous at first? You were like, I was a bit. Well, I got my phone out to check notes, and I was like, What's going on here? Am yeah. I allowed to talk at any point? On stage I think or, uh... I think the joke should be that you just don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 baby. <laughs> just say he's lost his voice. Uh, we've got three mics now, though. Next, so we've got we've got awards. We're going to do the awards, 10k awards, aren't we? That's yeah. going to be good. Uh, shake the hand. And I've then been telling got... everyone about them awards. They're all impressed. We've got yeah. 100k and a couple of millies in there. Big well. millies, seven figs. Um, oh, yeah, I just realised the milli one. I should have. A milli, a milli, a milli. <laughs> There's still time now. <laughs> we better dive, dive back in. Yeah, we'll catch go. you inside. Part two. Yeah. See ya. Peace. So we just nipped upstairs. We're in the middle of the bird talk at the minute. Yoni is on stage, dropping some heat at like building systems, scaling, and eight things and beyond. It's going, it's almost going a bit too well so far. It had loads of, loads of great comments. What's been amazing is about two thirds of people here aren't Honest FBA members, which we didn't anticipate that when we put the event together. There's a bunch of people that are, seem super keen to join, which is awesome. We want to add like real high value people to the community, and there's some really successful kind of D2C brands here as well. That's been cool. So I think they want to move into the Amazon sphere. And this has just been. I think now is a huge motivation that now we want to go bigger and better. I think we're going to do Barcelona's got to happen. It might be an American leg. You're going to get some more work at this day. Like, oh, I, so. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to dive back down there now. Uh, we'll check back in later on. But so far, so good. Really understanding where is my value and how am I going to move the needle? What are the things that I can do that really no one else can? You can sometimes have great people that sit in the wrong seats, and so it's about finding that balance, getting 
the right person. Now, with your Amazon store, you have a really high intent audience, but as you're sort of expanding into uh, other opportunities like a website, like having an e commerce site, you've got to like, think about the very many different ways that people are getting to your site. Okay, right, so what is this our third? Yeah. This is the third, third break. Third break. Two more, third two drink. more talks to go. Second, okay. We're taking it very steady. Getting inundated with requests to join. The community's going to blow up after today. Do we? I, I did a little pitch for Honest FBA, and I was I was a bit worried it was too hard to sell, especially when Tom was going. <laughs> it was clapping his fucking wrist, and I was you like, he goes, I'm not going to run through all of these. Anyway, the first one is the coaching <laughs> calls once a week. So I was the Benjamin. Yeah, no, we were actually we were getting nervous because our, our our most famous speaker, keynote, uh, the keynote speaker, famous YouTuber. Damien talks money. He got delayed. There's train strikes, but he's made it. Oh, he's on you. He's checking his YouTube subscribers. <laughs> Hello. What's going on? This is uh, YouTube legend Top G. Damien talks money. He's going to be doing a fantastic talk on what <laughs> storytelling, brand building. Yeah, getting people to like you, basically. Which we struggle with. Yeah, back <laughs> anyway. um, yeah very excited for part. This is part three now. This is the final part. Final play. We've got you, two out of bar. He's going to get oh, on the decks. Food. We've back got canapes. Oh, yeah, 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 get you a beer. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Right, See you later. Yeah, over and out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for probably the most famous person I know, Damien Gordon. How much do I earn? So, the main channel does about 100k a month in top line revenue. The podcast does about 25k and the new set is brand new, but it does about 15 a month on about a 90% profit margin. And I sell nothing. I sell absolutely nothing. I'm not here to sell you anything today as well. I give away everything. I applaud everybody that we call up because Everyone that we call up has followed the materials of the course, they've taken action, they've launched their own products on Amazon, their own branded products, and they've killed it. Unbelievable, really. I never, when I first launched, never in a million years would I have thought it would have led to this. It was sort of just a little uh, side project that I thought would just get me an extra, like, 300 quid a month or something. But yeah, uh, never would I have thought it had, it had led to this. It's about simplifying your business, and you can kind of, uh, kind of gets into chaos when you're just operating tasks all the time um, and you overcomplicate things but then outsourcing and actually re-strategizing um, that's probably my key takeaway what I need to do going forward. Hearing from successful sellers who have sold um, is always interesting trying to take nuggets from them and how to grow the business. Really good event yeah more people turned up than I sort of anticipated uh, but yeah as Ed said been a great sort of networking thing today and really really enjoyed the talks yeah if you're new to amazon or looking to get into fba then i definitely recommend it just even for me and the people in the community there oh, you go, mate. Go on. champagne Ooh, we're, oh, we're celebrating i like this, time got this is our order of importance champagne a beer and just a coke he's got rum in there actually right we well, how do we feel we've done the talks it's now party time it's you summarize it in one word class 
Enlightening. Fun. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> that's on his FBA to me. Class yeah. enlightening and fun. Yeah. So, that's, that's, yeah, it was so pretty good. The last, the last event was good. This one like, blew out of the water. Yeah, it was, really like, that was, it was really good. In fact, we could play the clip back last time where we were like, we're going to do an even bigger one. Yeah, even bigger. Even yeah, even better. Yeah, so we're going to play this clip back and we're going to yeah. be like, look, look, look where we like came from. Plan bigger. Yeah. I mean, next is the O2, isn't it? Really, it's, no... the, it's the next logical step, really, isn't it? And we, are, I've had a few people say, "When's the next one?" And I went, <laughs> "It's not even finished yet. <laughs> I'm knackered." Yeah. Because we, we we spent like six months, do you reckon, planning this from start to finish? The, the original text was, was February. What's February now? What were we in? Was it February? We're in May now. What's that? What did you only suggest it in February? Yeah. Uh, did I suggest? Thank you. Whose idea was it? Wow. Teamwork. No, did it yeah. take away from a lot of other work? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, uh, did it cost us about 100 grand? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it couldn't have some better weather, yeah. the shard, people, it, yeah, really, really What's successful. Really cool is that we have people, a fellow from Argentina, America. Did you yeah, actually on there? Someone's getting a sleeper train back to Glasgow now. That's right. That's a cool. couple of lads from Manchester came down, they're leaving, they're going back on the same day. And they also blew out their tyre on the motorway and nearly died. Yeah. They still came. That's dedication. That's dedication. That does say a lot though, doesn't it, yeah. about the event. So what's next then? Yeah, we're going to do Barcelona. Ba Barcelona. Barcelona, Barcelona, US Spain. International. I've already, I've already verbally agreed that the cameraman Ben is coming into the next event as well. That's so. a given. That's a given. That's yeah. expensive, isn't it? Um, so we're gonna, the prices are going to go up. You've got to cover his, his travel. <laughs> <and> his travel. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I guess now we wrap this up. We give out some rewards. We'll show you some. I'm sure we'll show you some highlights. It's been a great Chin day. chin, boys. Yes. Well done to well all. Done, all. Salute.